Hey there and welcome back to our channel. In today's tutorial, we will learn how to build a database in Airtable. We will see how to do so in three different ways, making it from scratch, using software, and from a template. So let's talk about first how to build a database in Airtable from scratch. So first and foremost, what you do is log into Airtable. Then from there, you can create a new base, which essentially serves as a database inside of Airtable. You can rename the base and table. So let's name this something specific like sales CRM. Then from here, you can actually name some of these tables. Like for this, I would probably put a few like opportunities, contacts, and then clients. So just making a few tables here, very simply. So let's do contacts and clients. And for all of these, you would essentially add different fields that you'd want. For example, for opportunities, definitely putting the opportunity of the value that you'd get here. So I could put something like the value, uh, maybe even the stages if it was a CRM. So I can do a select property and do stages and then work through different stages here, uh, like you know lead. And then from there, I can edit this field to add whatever else I want. Maybe qualified is an option, uh, you know, proposed, negotiation, closed, and then signed, and then maybe lost as well. And I can do the exact same thing, add different properties to my Airtable bases for things like contacts and clients, bad, mattering on what your specific needs would be. And in order to make this look a certain way, I could also group these, you know, for example, like these stages. So actually I could just set this to stage. So I could group this by stage very easily. And then within here, I now have a database with a few different properties set up in order to add new people that are in the opportunities as well as contacts and clients. And if I wanted to, I could also link some of these together like opportunities and clients very easily to make it easier to interconnect the two. Now you could also outside of creating it from scratch like this, utilize software. So in software, what you can do, instead of having to make it manual like that, you'd log into your software account, or if you haven't made your software account yet, you just create it, and then you would click on new application. From there, you can look through one of our templates. Uh, for example, since I picked sales CRM, I'm gonna do the exact same one. So I'm just gonna type sales CRM here. And then when I click preview, you'll notice that after I press use template, I can add it to my Airtable since I've already connected my data source. Now I've added that. And when I press copy base to my Airtable account, after I've choose from this very nice diverse range of templates, I essentially can add that template into my Airtable. Then from there, you can review information about the chosen template and preview its appearance with some dummy data already put in there. So if I go back on the top here, you'll see all of the different views and tables that exist within here. Then going back into my software app, you'll see that all of that data ends up getting imported really well. So essentially, I utilized a template, have a great template setup with access to connect with it interact with it and use it well, very simply. If you wanna add a new data source, I know I just kinda of jumped into the fact that I already had one. Inside of your account, you can actually go to data sources on the bottom left, connect a data source, pick your Airtable account, and then similar to any access token, all you would do is either add a specific base, or in my case, I like to add all workspaces and then press grant access, and that is how essentially you get access to set up an Airtable for future templates inputted. And from there, similar to what my setup was, you very easily can put all of the templates into your Airtable and vice versa, have them show up in your software account. And from there, your Airtable template is all good and set up. Software has created a fully equipped database in Airtable for you, complete with all the different tables and diverse field types that you'll need. Now, when it comes to Airtable, you also can build these from a template as well. If you go inside of your Airtable workspace, you can go to start with templates instead of start from scratch. And I can explore more templates here. And there is a nice option to search through this. So I could actually, you know, look up sales CRM again, then press try this template. 
And then from there, very easily, just like happened with software, a template will essentially be placed onto my Airtable account. So all of these different fields and whatnot are already put in there. Bunch of different views that are really great. Honestly, they do come with really robust options. So I definitely would recommend trying out Softer or Airtable's templates themselves because they both come with some amazing setups already custom made for you. Now, you can build a database in Airtable in multiple ways and building from scratch allows maximum customization, but it does take a lot of time. Templates in general are user-friendly with pre-built with pre-built structures and functionalities, and using software to build a database in Airtable is a seamless and time-efficient process, empowering users to effortlessly synchronize their data with customized front-end interface. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more insights into software. Share this video with anyone looking to elevate their data presentation game. As always, drop your questions and thoughts in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.